we going to <laughs> ski? <laughs> Why are you talking so weird? Because my nose is stuffy. <laughs> cool, what's your name? Victor. Cool. And where are you from? Uh, I'm from Telluride, Colorado. Colorado. And I live here in Aspen. Nice. Um, how long have you been skiing? Um, since before I was two. Nice. Yeah. That works well. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna go ski Landry. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna check out this other line next to it. And then hopefully we can add on the west face of thunder afterwards. Dude, nice work on the hat trick. Thanks, homie. It's a big day. Yeah, it was a pretty big day. Um, and so we'll ski thunder afterwards, and thunder is like the peak just to the south of Pyramid. It's also a rowdy, rowdy summit. That ridge line just in entirety is pretty rowdy, has kind of a lot of prominence, which is cool, and creates for some great ski lines. Why not just ski Pyramid? I mean, I've been trying to push myself and do bigger like link ups and missions, and I think this would be really cool add on to add on to Pyramid because um, it works out with the temperatures and you get two classic ski descents. I mean, not 50 classics, but classics nonetheless. So you've skied Landry once before? Uh, yeah, only once. Why do you think that that line gets so much hype? It is like such a beautiful line from the summit of one of like kind of the most prominent 14ers in the Elks. And the line itself is about, I think it's over 4,000 feet to the valley. So it's like a really good vertical descent. And with a lot of exposure at the top, um, it feels a lot steeper than it is. Definitely has like a reputation. It's hard to get good conditions on that. Yeah, I think it'll be pretty good tomorrow. Um, why don't you want to ski Landry? Uh, Landry's great. I just really want to check out this other line next to it. Um, it looks really cool and I've never, never skied it. Sweet. Yeah, so I think it's like an, an 8K day. Okay. Maybe 9. I think it's 9. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we'll go up Banana. Yeah, that's the most direct. Classic, just like we've both done Landry, so just like cruise to the top. We'll ski separate um, and meet back up and then do a little party ripping down beneath this ridge that separates the two mm -hmm. basins. Yeah, I think it'll be easiest to come around here. Yeah. And then we have to drop a lot lower and then up this pinner to Thunder. <clears throat> yep. I mean, something that I have thought about is like maybe going up this ridge and going that way just to like steer totally clear of that southeast face but i guess we'll be able to like see how things are once we're up there yeah do you know the route down west face to thunder pretty well yeah i mean it's it's like pretty direct um you know it's however many thousand feet of just like fall line at a rather moderate gradient. It's a little steep at the top, but later in the day, it should be like super corny and that'll be nice. Um, and then you just like follow the goalie out and come out crater and then go to Maroon. Nice. I've never done like two big peaks like this in a day, so I'm looking forward to it. So we got to sled up the, sled up the road. That will probably take like an hour um, you gotta unload and load and it's what 4,000 4,500 feet from Maroon Lake to the top of Pyramid sounds about right so like maybe plan on what time do you think plan on dropping in since it's east probably like around 9 yeah yeah or even earlier okay so it'd be yeah I mean it'd be good to like try to get to the top around 830 mm-hmm so maybe like go with a thousand feet an hour estimate and say like four hours from Marin Lake. Yeah, I bet we can be faster than that, but 
It's nice to have a little margin. Yeah, be at the lake at 4.30. So start at 3.30 and then if we like take an hour to descend, which is probably a little bit of a, or a vast overestimation, then we have like what, 2,000, 3,000, yeah, like 3,000 feet to go back up. Um, maybe even more, maybe like 4,000 to go back up Thunder, since it's like almost 14,000 feet at the top of Thunder. Mm -hmm. So that'll be like another four hours, and that would like probably, so like 9.30 plus four is, yeah, like roughly around one top of Thunder, which like we should just chill on that skin back up because I feel like on the west face, dropping in at like one or two is like going to be when the corn is the best. Yeah, let it soften up a little bit. Yep. I think it'll be good. I feel like if anything, we're just going to be like kind of chilling at the top of Thunder, waiting for it to warm up a little bit. Yeah, with a lot of climbing in between. Yeah, roughly, roughly <laughs> 8K or I say 9K. A lot of people in the ski world think you're like the raddest skier around. <laughs> what do you think about that? I think there's a lot of really rad skiers out there. Um, and I'd be honored to be considered one of them. Pure and simple, I just love skiing. Um, like f sliding on snow, it's like so much joy. And then being able to do that in like a really scenic, remote, like wilderness feeling place um, is all the more special. So like getting up into the Alpine, getting to places where people haven't skied that often. Top of the Landry line. Lovely morning. Kind of just rocked up here with Victor. But now he's going to ski something over that way. So we will see. Lovely to be back in the Elks, the home. So we were after skiing the Bells and Pyramid yesterday. Nice to ski down the other side and do some more exploring today.
Your liters per second there. Um, point zero zero. Fuimos 
solo ser en dos. Te abrigué, te gesté, te diste vuelta dentro de mí. Ahí, en mi oscuridad, en mis mares de voz, saliste al mundo. Pretty damn good. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it went super smooth. And it was nice. We had that booter in. Super nice. It was so fast. <laughs> we went to the top in like three hours? I think it was like two and a half. Yeah, it was pretty, pretty fast. How was the snow on yours? Yeah, Landry was good. Um, it was like a little crusty at the top and like breaking in, which is kind of funny over that exposure at the yeah. top. But then it was warm pal, like on the lime line itself. How was the east face? It was really good. Yeah. It was like, we timed it perfectly, I think. Yeah. Um, and that's like a really nice fall line. But then the west of Thunder was like delectable. Yeah. No, I had never done that. I was, I was psyched. It was nice and smooth, even if it didn't soften up that much. Yeah. There's a nice little like sesh out though. Nice little walk out. Yeah. Super fun. I don't know. I keep one just wanna keep doing it. Yeah. But I'm kinda of, kinda of torched. Yeah, totally. You don't wanna come come ski with Teague on the front range with me tomorrow? Mmm. Might be better here. <laughs> Where are you gonna go ski? I think cross. Oh cool. Yeah. But yeah, I felt like that was actually I mean, it was a fun day. We both clearly know these mountains pretty well. So it's just like fun to move around them. Yeah, always a lot to learn though. Uh, of course, there's a lot to learn. <laughs> yeah, I can learn a ton from you though. <laughs> so, thanks for going out with me. Of course, anytime. Yep.